Hello everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater and welcome back and welcome if you're new. I've had a few new subscribers lately and I thank you. Um, you know my goal, well my goal was to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year but I didn't do my part in that goal. I wasn't putting out videos. I was living my life I guess and now I'm getting back to it. I think we're around 750 subscribers now, and when I get to 1,000, I'm gonna do a big, big giveaway um, with more than one prize. And um, anyway, this is my finished jewelry update from my um, October bead box, Bark and Bead Box Falling Leaves. I've had this sitting on my desk for quite a while and would work on it a little bit at a time. And I've even worn some of the jewelry in the meantime. And it's a beautiful collection. I love, I love these colors. I do have a lot of jewelry in these colors, I must confess, though. So anyway, I'll show you what I made. The first thing I made was a necklace. And it is about, I think it's about 19 inches, 20 inches, well... Yeah, probably about 18, 19 inches. It just kind of sits a little bit lower than a choker. A fair amount lower, I guess. But it just it sits nice so that the pendant sits nice above your cleavage. Um, so you don't need to have such an open top when you're wearing it. And I used the clasp that came in with the bead box. I used the um, ameth not amethyst, aventurine, the bicones, the man-made hematite copper coated or rose gold coated. I use this matte carnelian and look here, look at these two specimens of carnelian. They show the banding really well. They're just beautiful. I use these barrel beads, which were, um, what did they call them when they're AB or barrel beads? Green iris, these were. These retail for $2.99. That's not a bad deal. These really add a big bang for your buck. These are absolutely beautiful. These, and I think these are Crackle Agate. They're gorgeous. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. I just did a uh, combination of it. I used the, the rose gold leaf and then most of the little rose gold leaves. I just made a huge cluster and it hangs beautifully when you wear it. I've already worn this piece. And I made a bracelet to go with it where I've used the carnelian. It's just a very simple bracelet. And then I, I hung like cha-cha style these leaves and it wears really nice. It looks really nice when you wear it. Then I made two pairs of, or two pairs. I made a pair of earrings. My biggest problem is I don't have a lot of rose gold fixtures like jump rings and I need to invest in some because they really stand out being dark like that but I'll have to get on and look for them. But these are really nice earrings. I like that they hang long. Um, they're not just a little short earring. Now that I'm wearing my hair shorter, I kind of like that. Then I'll move these up. Then I made another necklace. And this just used the, the Adventurine, the six millimeter Adventurine with the um, Daisy Spacers the buy cones. Very simple. I kind of, I think this needs to be wiped down. This piece came dirty and I haven't wiped it down yet. So I'll have to clean that off. And I just loosely did a wire wrap to hang this pendant. I couldn't get a jump ring to go through it. So then I, very simply, earrings to go with are simply this. I may, I'm not sure, hang a few buy cones from here, but I'm thinking I'm not. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave them plain. Then this morning I finished this necklace, and this is a cha-cha necklace. I've used the chain, and I've used a clasp out of my collection, and I just wire wrapped all of these leaves that came in, in the box, and I used um, ball-headed pins for those. So it's nice, it's just something fresh and clean looking. And it again, like I think these are all about the same length. I think this is around, yeah, 19 inches. Then this morning, I'll give you a hint. I used these seed beads. 
I used this, um, their Toho seed beads from Potomac Beads, HM Iris Olivine. I got them a few years ago. It says $3.79. I'm not sure if that's what I paid or not. And I took the faceted adventuring and I did a, I think it's called flat spiral bracelet using the seed beads. And then these are the snake beads I got from Kath one time. And you know what? I, it kind of creeps me out that they're, they're called snake beads. So I call them grenade beads, but cause they look like grenades, but boy, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I used a clasp from my, um, my stash and I used what are these called? Guard wire guards? I use those as well on it. Easy to make, gorgeous when it's done. So that's all my jewelry out of that box. Now this box ends up costing me almost $50 Canadian, but I think I did pretty well. I think if I was to buy a bracelet like this, I'd probably be paying upwards of $40 for the bracelet alone. So I think, and I love this necklace, and I love this bracelet too. I love it all. That's why I get them. So anyway, this is what I've got left. I've got some of these daisy spacers. Just a few, I have to find my little box with them in. I've got a little bit of chain left and rose gold chain is always good to have. I, My direction totally changed. I was gonna do a necklace of chain and then seg beaded segments and chain and beaded segments. But you know what? Sometimes what you think you're gonna do and then once you sit down to bead, it's totally different. I have four of these faceted um, adventuring left. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got a few of these. These man-made hematite. I don't know why they call it man-made hematite. It's either hematite or it's not in my book, but two, four, six, eight of those. And then these bicones. I could easily make a component. I could easily make a nice pair of earrings with these, a few pairs of earrings. I probably could get a bracelet out of this as well if I wanted to, adding the chain to it and the um, daisy spacers, but I think I'm done. Oh, and I also have these bales, which I didn't use, but I'm gonna put them in with my bales because you don't often find rose gold bales, so they're, they're gonna go in there. But I think if any, the thing I took out of this collection is I need to start looking for rose gold, jump rings, um, clasps, um, head pins, eye pins, um, ball head pins, and things like that. I, I need to go for a search for those because sometimes you can do copper, but sometimes it just isn't quite right. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. Um, I've got my next box out I, is a Dee Dee's bead box. Um, it might be a few days before I get to that. I'm joined a mystery quilt. Um, I used to do it years ago with this um, quilt designer, Bonnie Hunter. And they're, they're quite intricate, lots of piecing. And a friend of mine was doing it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it this year. I haven't done anything like that and probably seven, maybe even 10 years. So um, I'm gonna work on that too. So it's to find the time to um, balance everything. That's the biggest thing. I just love this carnelian. I, I never noticed that when I was stringing it. If I had, I would have put them down here across from each other. But sometimes you're just in the heat of things and you don't notice the little details. Anyway, that's it for this collection. That one's done. I can put a big check mark beside that box now and put the rest away in my stash. And yeah, I'll take some photographs for the end and I'll see you in the next video. I wish you lots of love and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye bye.